clean people are not born they're made and they're made based on their everyday habits that they either do or don't do. So I'm going to share with you the habits that I have implemented that help keep my life in order on a day-to-day -day basis. These are all easy, simple, and they're just things you need to be aware of. Start implementing in your day-to-day -day life and watch your life change. Because for me, if my environment is clutter-free, clean, I just feel so much better about life. I'm in a better mood. Everything's just better. We're gonna start with my first most tried and true habit, and that is never leave a room empty-handed. A good easy way to think about this throughout your day is grab and go. You're going from room A to room B anyway. You might as well load up your free hands, be efficient, multitask, and clean up in the process. It takes no extra energy or time to do this. And where this really comes in handy for me every single morning, when I wake up to come downstairs, I will bring down my teacup, any miscellaneous trash, anything else that needs to be brought downstairs. I just bring it down with me because I'm going there anyway. Multitasking at its finest. Soaking your dishes is a myth. It's a myth I believe is mostly perpetrated as just a stalling tactic to actually deal with the dishes, but chances are in 90% of the cases, it's easier to clean your dishes right away in the moment versus just getting to it later. I'm coming back for you, baby. I'm coming back for you. Next, this is a new tidy habit that I started implementing in the house, and it has been a total game changer, and I call it a table reset because what I realized was after every meal with the family, there would be a mess that would accumulate. So now I make it a habit to reset the table. This is actually where we eat right here. So after each meal, I make it a point that we all put our dishes in the dishwasher and then I do a quick wipe down of the countertop. So it keeps it clean throughout the day and it just helps prevent the huge clutter mess from accumulating on our kitchen island, on our table. Next is my system for reducing and minimizing mail clutter because I realized there's always piles of mail, junk mail stuff we did not handle. So the first habit is cut down on the amount of mail that you're getting in the first place. So when I looked into it, about 80% of the junk mail that we get comes from one place. It's called the Direct Marketing Association. You can opt out of all mailings and it does cost a $2 processing fee. I don't know what that's about, but to me, that's $2 well spent. And I do want to note it can take up to 90 days for it to go through the system for you to notice a reduction in the amount of junk mail that you are receiving. I bring all the mail in. I stand over the recycling bin. And in that moment, it's either recycled, filed, or responded to. So anything that is not immediately recycled, I bring upstairs to my desk. I put it right on my desk and that needs to be responded to, or I bring it into our family file folder and put it there for record. Next is to cut down on extras and multiples in your house. I think everyone has a different vice for what they have way too many of. Actually, let me know in the comments, what is your thing that you just know you have way too many of? For us recently, I noticed it was towels. And a good rule to go by is two towels per person in your household. This also could apply to mugs. You might not need a hundred mugs. Think about cutting it down. Whoa, 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 duplicates? Each one of these sneakers is a special little snowflake. This is cash white sneakers. Oh, this is dressy for going out white sneakers. These are kind of like cash athletic. Uh, yeah, these are just like the old frumpy, maybe you got some yard work to do or something. These are the ones that I beat up in the uh, home gym. And these are like the kind of like cool, flashy, wish I could pull them off, but I can't. You're more than just a duplicate to me. Next tidy habit I've been doing for over a year now, and I wanted to refresh your memory in case you did not start doing this, I highly recommend, and that is to clean your shower while you're in the shower, because chances are you already have dead time in there. You're waiting for your conditioner, your hair treatment to penetrate. You might as well kill time and use that time to clean. So I have this scrub brush with Dawn dish liquid and distilled white vinegar. I scrub out the shower while I'm in there trying to kill time anyway, rinse it off and it stays clean. Related to that in the bathroom, the one area that was just always getting nasty was the bathroom sink. So now, not every day, but every two to three days, I make it a point to just do a little wipe down. I found this pretty cleaning wipe dispenser bottle. You can just keep that right there on your countertop. And as easily as you grab a tissue, you just grab one of these cleaning wipes and do a wipe down of your bathroom countertop every couple of days. Ultimate life rule along with grab and go or don't leave a room empty handed is the one touch rule, meaning don't put it down, 
put it away. Just think about that as you're going throughout your day because again, it's just efficiency. Why put this down here when I know that eventually I'm going to put it back somewhere else where it belongs? Just do that in the first place and you're cutting down your time and effort it's taking to keep your life clean. I know that's not always gonna be possible, especially if you're busy and you have kids, but as much as you can make an effort as you're going throughout your day to say, don't put it down, put it away. Still to this day, I repeat this in my mind probably five to 10 times a day. For laundry, my habit, my rule, like life rule, is I have to put my laundry away the day that I run it. I notice that if I don't put it away that day, it just doesn't get put away. The same with my luggage when I get back from a trip. Like if I don't do it right away, I just won't do it. So now I have that as a hard and fast rule. No matter what time it is, I'm putting it away that night. I also have started doing smaller loads because it just makes it a lot easier to stay on top of things. Maybe most important of all, if you start doing this today, you will come back to this video and thank me later. And that is a 15 minute speed clean at the end of every single day. And I have some tips for how I do the speed clean. I set a timer because that way I know I'm racing against the clock. It just keeps me on track and focused and not distracted. I usually will listen to an audiobook or a podcast on Bluetooth speakers. So I kind of enjoy it and don't dread it as much. I'm like multitasking, get the whole family involved, even your kids designate different areas. And what I like to do, the way I approach a room is first I do a trash sweep. So I bring a trash bag with me. I remove all the trash. The second thing I do is a clutter sweep. So everything in that room that needs to go to a different room goes in one bin. Then I put the things back in the room that I'm in. And then the last step is taking that bin and putting things back throughout the house where they belong. Next tidy habit is always be decluttering, but specifically I have three different donation bins around the house. First is by the front door. And those are items that I'm no longer using that I think my friends and family who stop by, who come over might wanna look through and pick up. Think of it as like a little gift on their way out. The second is a larger donation bin that we keep in the garage because I do quarterly donation pickups. And the third is a donation bag that's in my closet. So as I'm trying on clothes, getting dressed, if I don't love something, if it doesn't fit right, look right, I can instantly put it in the donation bag. So this way I'm constantly decluttering. If you have kids, I have three new habits that have been genuinely, truly game-changing because I think that was ultimately the biggest source of the mess in our house. The first is we now have a toy rotation system. We've been doing this for about six months, 10 out of 10 recommend. So I got these bins from Amazon, really affordable. I broke up their toys into seven bins. So they get a new bin every day. Those are the toys for the day. Now we do have a few that are out, like our tried and true Legos, train tracks, like things that get a lot of replayability. It's like every day is a new fun surprise of what toys she gets. I find she plays with the toys that she has, but it's also so much easier to clean up and pick up her toys at the end of the day. And it's so easy that even now she can get involved and she can clean up her own toys at age two. Next was a tip I saw from the rambling redhead on Instagram and I was like, why didn't I think of that? And that is get all of your children's toys out of their bedroom. So we have all of our toys now consolidated in the toy rotation system out of their bedrooms. It just makes life so much better. And you'll notice that your kids appreciate and actually play with the toys they have. And third, what works well for us is we make cleaning up a game. And what I do is I set a timer. You can have her play the cleanup song or for us, we set a two minute timer and I make it like this big emergency, like go, 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 clean up, clean up, clean up. They don't ask questions. I just go with it. Set timer for two minutes. Capri, clean up. Go, 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 clean up. And with all of that said, thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon with a new video. Bye.